Welcome to Lola's Frugal Life Podcast. If you're on a mission to be more frugal with both your time and money, you're in the right place. In this podcast, we talk about topics that help enhance living a frugal lifestyle. The goal is to save time and money where we can so that we can use the rest on what matters most to us. We talk a lot about both time and money management so that we can waste as little as possible on both. We do this while also embracing a progress over perfection mindset. If that sounds good to you, then please stick around for the latest episode right after a few quick words from our sponsor. Hi everyone, welcome back to Lola's Frugal Life Podcast. Today's episode, I wanted to talk about some misconceptions about frugality. So when I refer to myself as being a frugal person, I see it as a positive thing. I think it means that I'm doing smart things with my money and my time, and it's really a choice that I made because when I began learning about frugality, I loved all of the ideas and the things that went along with frugal living. So it's not something that I do out of necessity, but it's something that I do because I really want to do it. It's something that I really love, and it's something that I'm proud of and I work to improve on all the time. And I do think that to some extent, um, frugal living is for everyone. Some people obviously might not wanna take it as far as others, but I'm not sure why anyone would not want to be more in control of their resources, whether that be their time or their money. I think that the reason why more people don't understand frugal living is because there are these misconceptions that cause people to think frugality is much different than it actually is. So they turn away from it before they ever really learn more about what it means to live a frugal life. So today I just wanted to talk about some of those common misconceptions regarding frugality. So the first one, that I would like to talk about is that frugal living is only for those that are struggling financially. So frugal living can be a great benefit for those who are trying to get out of a difficult financial situation. However, it is not only for those that are struggling financially. Many people with all different financial situations from very low income to very wealthy people practice frugality. I mean, wealthy people often um, did not stay that way from not paying attention to their money. So while people at different income levels might have different ideas on what might be a reasonable budget for certain things, frugality is not about how much you're spending. It's about making sure you're spending your money on the things that matter to you and living below your means so that you can save for the future. So when people think that you're only, um, you would only want to live a frugal life if you're struggling financially doesn't even make sense because that's how people usually get into bad financial situations because they're not living a frugal life or practicing managing their money. People think that frugal living means you're like this person that just sits there and like hoards every penny and you know um, doesn't want to do anything, doesn't want to spend money on anything and that's not what frugality is about. It's about managing your money, making sure you prioritize how you spend it so that you're getting the most out of it and so that you're getting to do those things that you love and saving for things that you want to have in the future. So how is that How is that even possibly something that people would think is only for those that are struggling financially? Another um, misconception is that frugality is all about sacrifice. So, I mean, if you think about it, pretty much anything that is worth the effort and the outcome that you're gonna get from it is going to require some type of sacrifice. No matter how much income or wealth you may have, there is pretty much always going to be another level of income or wealth above you. So based on your assets and income, we all have to decide what way we will use those resources. So I never feel like I'm making a sacrifice by choosing to spend my money on one thing versus another there's nobody that has unlimited resources. So there's always choices to be made. So while yes, there is some level of sacrifice because we have to choose some things over the other, we can't have everything, nobody can. So when we choose frugality, we actually usually can have more of what we want in our life because we make sure that we use the money in the best way possible. We don't use it on things that aren't really important to us. And I don't really see that see that as living a life of sacrifice. If you think about it, the people that um, do not practice some level of frugality are 
probably sacrificing more in the way of not being able to have more of what they would really like to have because they're probably spending their money in ways that they don't even realize. Another one that really drives me crazy is frugal people are cheap. Okay, frugality does not mean being cheap. Um, So often when I talk about budgeting or anything related to saving money, people assume that I'm cheap. Not people in the frugal living community or people that might be interested in this podcast, but other people um, like family or friends that might not really um, have the same ideas about frugality they think that you're cheap because you manage your money. Um, you know, as if if you weren't cheap, you wouldn't be bothered with budgeting and managing what you're doing with your finances. Um, people that are cheap sacrifice quality in order to get the lowest price. That's, kind, that's basically what being cheap is. They don't care. They just want whatever it is that they need that'll serve its purpose. And it's like, whatever the cheapest prices they can get, that's being cheap. But people that are frugal often wind up spending more money on a quality item because they know it will last and they won't have to keep purchasing it and it'll be a good quality product that they can enjoy. Or if they're trying to save money, they might go out and buy that good quality item at a lower cost by getting it secondhand. But the goal is not to get the cheapest price possible. It's about getting good value out of your money, not about being cheap. Um, Another misconception is that frugality takes too much time. So if you're not already living a frugal lifestyle, yes, of course, there's going to be some time involved in maybe setting up a budget, paying more attention to where your money's, gonna, your money's been going. You might have to do some research on, you know, what you've been spending over the past time, or maybe you don't. You could just start where you're at and just start to pay attention going forward. Um, but it does time to, to take some, sorry, it does take time to set up a budget and really start to think through more things and plan on what things you would like to have and what things you would like to save for. But I mean, that's not a bad thing and it doesn't have to take up a ton of time. Um, Most people who learn how to manage their money are gonna develop habits that just become natural to them. It's not like as if you're spending hours every day figuring out what to do with your money. And, and everything takes time. The amount of time you invest into living a frugal life only allows you to live an even better life because you focus on the things that matter to you most. So when people say they don't have time to manage their money or they don't have time to have a budget or you know really know what's happening to their money, well, that's really unfortunate because they're probably wasting a lot of time doing things that aren't super important to them because they can't focus their time and money on what is really important to them. So they could probably be making a much better life for themselves if they if they did put in a little bit of time and effort into using some of the practices that are involved in frugality. And then the last misconception I'd like to talk about today is that frugal living is not fun. I honestly feel like discovering frugality has made my life more fun and enjoyable. It allows me to really think about what I value and how I want to spend my time and money. It it does not mean sitting home and saving every penny. Living a frugal lifestyle allows you to use your money wisely and that allows you to find more ways to have more money for the things you really enjoy. It also allows you to be creative and find ways to save money while still having a great time. And I actually find that to be fun in and of itself, like finding ways to do fun things that don't cost a fortune is really fun. And I always feel like it's really fun when you go and do something and you realize it really didn't cost anything or cost very little. And you think about how much fun you had doing it. It really kind of allows you to see how simple things can be and that everything doesn't have to be about spending a fortune. There are so many simple things that we can do to have a great time. And I think that Frugality really allows us to kind of just take a step back and just enjoy the simple little things and keeping um, keeping in mind that, you know, just by when, when people do spend more and more and more on expensive things and they don't kind of try to keep um, uh, certain things within a, a lower cost um, or not, I guess not really within a lower cost, but maybe just trying to enjoy things without always having it to be about spending money. And I'm not saying that 
you know, you don't want to have a nice vacation or go out for a nice dinner or whatever it is, those things you choose to spend your money on. But I feel like when you're living a frugal life, you kind of save for those things usually. So they're even more enjoyable because it's something that you've saved for, you've had the budget for, you're not worried about paying off a credit card bill to do this thing. It's special because it's not something that you do all the time. And that makes things even more fun and enjoyable because they're special to you. It's not just, oh yeah, we go out to dinner like four times a week. We're always going out to dinner. Well then, how is it even fun or special if that's like what you always do? So by really kind of being mindful about how you're spending your time and money when you when you are doing those things, it makes them even more special because it's something that you you plan to do, you wanted to do, and now you're going doing going and doing it. You're not just making it part of your like everyday routine. You're really being mindful about things. So again, um, those are some misconceptions about frugality. Um, I just I I wish there was a way to kind of explain these things to more people because I think it's so sad that people shy away from frugality when they hear about it because they just assume that it's these people that kind of sit around saving their money and they don't want to do anything and they they just buy cheap stuff and you know they just sit around like doing their budgets and looking at their bank accounts all day and it's just so ridiculous because there's so many benefits to living a frugal lifestyle and it is so much not about being cheap or not having fun or or being someone that's struggling financially, it's none of those things. So that's all I wanted to share today. I just wanted to kind of talk about some of these misconceptions and hopefully maybe someone who's new will listen to this and want to stick around and become part of this frugal community. So thank you so much for listening and I will see you back here next week. So thank you for checking in for this podcast episode. And don't forget, you can always email me with any questions or suggestions at lolasfrugallife at gmail.com. You can follow me on Instagram and Facebook at lolasfrugallife. And you can find a blog post for most of my episodes and definitely all of my meal plan episodes at lolasfrugallife.com. You can also join our private listeners group at facebook.com slash groups slash lolasfrugallife. And if you enjoy the show, please make sure to subscribe on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, YouTube, or wherever you listen from. And I would love it if you would screenshot the show and tag me on Instagram so I could see you're listening. Also, if you can please take a couple of seconds to rate and review the podcast, those ratings and reviews are what help the show come up better in search results so that other people can find this podcast. So that will really help me in growing my audience. So that's it for today. Thank you so much for listening and I hope you have an awesome day.